Up right the kitchen. Right. So between the wonderful uh, T-shirt top, the wonderful shoes, right. accessorizing that's remarkable, and the wonderful kitchen layout. Yes, Vic. I don't know. This is a close. This is a ten also. Yes, yeah, a ten also. I'm that's a ten. And of course, her ass. I was trying not to mention the obvious. I knew y'all would say he ain't gonna mention her ass. He ain't gonna say. It. Yes, we are. You know, some booties make you want to kiss, right? This is one of them booties you want to, you want to, first you want to just walk up and rub it. Right. And then you got to kiss it. Just like, Mwah. I, I just I love got, you. I got to ask you something, Marvel, because you, you, you describe things with such detail. And, and really, just from the perspective, you really don't look at the traditional Mademoiselle, the high glamour magazines. Uh, with no. The women. Why? Give, give me the reason why you don't pay attention to those magazines as it relates to those women who are pro- high priced fashion models. Because I why? like the women in Lowrider magazine. <laughs> That's the one I when I want to see good women. I wa- I get Low Rider magazine. Right. Or I watch the rap videos. Now what? Now That's tell it, tell them I why. Like, There's a different flavor of women. Why, I like the why? good old round the way girls. Now I look at this girl. Right. The most sexy look on her face. The okay. eyes. Remember, I told you, ladies, lips slightly parted. Yeah. Okay. 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 Hot, hot, hot. No, no, no. This is why you got to go. Cause sisters like this. Yeah. Oh man, this is you know keep okay. her. And I'm gonna be honest. Marry with her. You. Just I'm, get a prenup. Right. I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, in all <laughs> fairness, because I have to go with both sides here before we go to the next photo. Yes, fashion industry traditionally is trying to highlight clothes. They're really not trying to accentuate the bodies of the women that's under. But I also know this much, and I'm not rebelling against it. I'm just saying, well, the fashion industry for the most part are top male designers who mostly, I have to say. Most with no argument, and I don't have any problem with them, mostly are gay men who would basically say, I do not want to see the accentuation of the ass, the breasts, and all those other things. You take away from what I'm trying to sell in a market that most of the clothes that they're selling are not available retail, they're there to show what kind of unique designs they have. So, the you part, can get them at Mervyn, well, well, you can get them at TJ Maxx, too. <laughs> <laughs> so for the most part, this is our show to say we're focusing more on the women. I have to yes. say this physically the that the happen to wear the clothes, and so unfortunately, this is the opposite of what the traditional fashion and modeling. Vic, this is just part of your savoir faire. Yeah. Only Vic, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. could take something like this and give it that extra perspective. No, yeah. no, we won't let the clothes right. detract from the beautiful princesses and queens that's right that walk this land right only vic yes thank you knew enough to look beyond the clothes to look dig beyond. deeper okay. yeah. go underneath the, as i would tell the girls lift up that top i wasn't trying to take it that Flash far. those breasts I, I wasn't let's trying get to, to the real far. thing I, forget the clothes I, vic i'm with you vic you're a visionary a man ahead of his time that's victor allen it's still so cold. Okay, it's we're wonderful. Gonna, we're trying to trying to do <laughs> it's that. Wonderful. I'll okay. tell you. I, okay, I'm gonna go to the next one because I don't want to follow up on that, man. That's just it's hard to do. You know, I always say that I had a rough time with line dancing. You know, because we had you know we had these periods where everybody gets in there and getting line dancing. Well, there's a new type of line dancing, and Amy says my version of line dancing, and she simply says, "That's it." Whoa! <laughs> there goes racism. <laughs> Right out the door. See, white women do have ass, and they can. White men can jump too. I've seen them. I've seen them jumping all the time. I, I go. I know you can go. You can see white men jumping all right, around. Right. Well, here's a white woman with some assets. Lord, and she's almost in the right position, Vic. If she could just get that head a little closer to the floor, then we would be in the actually in the right position. But, Vic, this is a ten. It's a, it's this a, is a ten. She got an ass, and are you. What what else can I say? What would Danny say about this shot? She says she's looking like she's about to poop. <laughs> and I tell her, bigger things that have come out than what's going in. <laughs> Wait a minute. This Wait a minute. is a picture that makes you think about doing something that is still illegal. Now, here's the part that about I'm, seven states. And here's the part I'm saying. I okay. think Alaska is one of those. I know this is going to reflect on the quality of what we're trying to present here. But remember, I have this rule. If, if this type of picture is not valuable, then why do it? And so why so many women do it. And it doesn't mean that all the women who are showing pics like this fall in a certain category. Because if I go show you their profiles, 
you'll see that this is like that one pick that's opposite of the traditional model well, they it do. Is. So I'm just saying, if they're there and, and the votes on this compiles where a lot of people are voting on it saying we would like it. You're going to automatically assume, now here's the part, you're going to automatically assume that's a whole bunch of men. But when I go see the profiles, you can see how many women are giving compliments. Whether they're into women or not, that's not the point. The point is that the theme came across. And here's another thing. She is mixed. Latina? She's mixed. She, she got Caucasian, you can tell, in, but okay. she's mixed. I'm just telling you Okay, this. but the picture looks like it's designed to appeal to the brothers. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. You're wrong. I know The it picture looks like it's designed to appeal. See, if you want to appeal to white men, you usually are doing this. <laughs> That's cold, man. Why you that's because they go more for the tits. Now, if you try to appeal to the brothers, you're doing this. There are some <laughs> men out there from all persuasions I'm saying who they, like shit. Hell butt. yeah. Sure they are. Sure they are. I remember when I was in training, I, one, of my, one of my Latino buddies used to always tell me, man, I love them Asians. <laughs> I said, man, he said, I said, because I was telling man, those Latinas, man, they bad. See? He said, yeah, they are, but I love them Asians. Right, right, right. And there's always someone who likes. Right. And we celebrate that. Right. Like good. some people really love acne. <laughs> and so you can get that out there. Okay, all in the back and in the belly. So we know there's some for everybody. That's I'm, some I'm some people here. like people who poop. Okay, I'm going to go. Uh, we, we, <laughs> just give me the number, man. It's give me ten. ten. It's a ten. It's a ten. All right, so far, all of them are ten for me because it's Man, you things. all ten. I'm going to marry ten. them. That's far, that's, I that's don't the, even need to go to the sperm bank. Well, <laughs> I can just stay home, have them come here. Make my deposits. All right, so we're, we're going to roll it up on this one. This is an easy day for us because, you know, it's easy and everybody's going, you know, that's not a far reach to show photos of women looking like they poop, as Danny would say, the rebellion, Danny. So we're going to roll back on those later, Mario. I got to switch it over to the side where the women wait for something to impact their opinion, right? Ready for the ladies! Ready for the ladies. <laughs> you guys thought you saw the real Iron Man recently, Robert yeah. Downey. I think Robert is about, what, 5'9", five, 5'8"? Five, six, two. <laughs> He's 6'2". Six, two. He's 6'2". Six, two. He wait, wait, send me the check, Robert. 6'2". <laughs> he, right. And really muscular. And he, he has really... a big dick. <laughs> Thank you. The check's in the mail, Robert? Wait, wait a minute. Okay. I, Robert, he said the check is in big. Check and make sure we got the check. The question's going to be how yes, do you Yes, Robert. Know, they're going to know how you know. It's whatever Robert says wait as long as it covers that check. How do you know what he has? Robert Downey's publicist <laughs> sent us over. Where is it? You see. Did you get the check? I'm not quoting. Okay. If you got the check, according to Robert Downey's publicist, he's 6'2 and has a, a nine inch. <laughs> Okay, we said it, okay? Send the, we need money, okay? Send the check. Okay. Send the Let check. me go on in for the ladies. And they make sure the check doesn't bounce. Like you know what? Last time, Robert. I like that because you used the publicist as you're out. I I'm like telling that, the bro. publicist she said it over. She said he's 6'2", right. and he's got a nine. He's got a niner. Okay, well, let me go, nine on. Let me go show the women who the real Iron Man is. Okay. I and thought they said it was you. No, nah, man, it's not me, man. Believe me. <laughs> Randy Raymond says, I'm the real Iron Man, and for obvious reasons. So there you go. Oh, man, Isaac Hayes already did this. <laughs> Isaac, Mac, tell him Isaac Hayes already did this. Really? And then he got to use barbed wire, though. Right. Now, he had to put that on really carefully. Yes. <laughs> yep. He, he did. Now, bottom line is, would you go there with a theme like this for yourself? Would you wear iron across your body, man? Man, hell no. <laughs> Why not? First of all, Vic, that's because I used to sleep with women who had braids with shells and shit in them. Have you ever had a girlfriend who had, like, the braids with the shells and the yeah. beads? Yeah. Man, you roll over in them things I in the middle did. of the night, your ass will hit the ceiling. I rolled over on a bunch of them seashells, man. Shit was cracking. So I know. This is what happens when you decorate your body with some sharp, irritating objects. Okay. And that's one thing. Just even with the piercings. Have you ever rolled over somebody's piercings? See, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, this is not all what it seems. Yeah, it ain't as good mm. as it seems. Okay, so well, let me just say this. Did let he me... wrap some of that barbed wire? Let me go lower. Well, hey, I want to see. Did he wrap some of it? Okay, we don't even I, know. I, I'm, He's going to wrap hey, some of that look.